Hello friends, good morning. In today's lecture, I will discuss the aptitude test, purpose and types. In my earlier lectures, I had explained that campus placement drive starts with the aptitude test and it ends at the personal interview. In between aptitude test and personal interview, group discussion may be conducted. The company also conducts the technical aptitude test as well as technical interview. But aptitude test is essential part of campus placement process. Now let us see why it is essential part of the campus placement process. It is conducted to test candidates problem solving ability as well as to test how efficiently a candidate can respond to a task or a situation. In the company, the candidates are assigned some task and they come across different situation. So, how they respond to a task and how they tackle to a situation, that information they derive from the aptitude test as well as they check the problem solving ability of the candidate from the aptitude test. Now, few important points about the aptitude test. Number one, aptitude tests are different than IQ test, that is intelligence quotient test. IQ test assess general intelligence while aptitude test evaluate intelligence in more specific areas like mathematical skills, verbal ability and logical reasoning. The research has shown that people who do well in their aptitude test tend to perform better in the job. That's why the camp, all the in industries as well as all the companies conduct the aptitude test. Accuracy and speed both are checked. Now see, during aptitude test, you are given fixed time, say 30 minutes and you have to solve 50 questions, 50, 60 or time can be different 60 minutes and 100 questions and so on. So speed as well as accuracy, you have to focus. You have to solve maximum number of questions and with accuracy in the given time. Sometimes negative marking is also there. So before start of the test, you must get it confirmed that whether negative marking is there or not. Now to qualify for the aptitude test, you need practice. Now remember, the companies which are bulk recruiters, if you clear the aptitude test, the probability of clearing the interview is more than 75%. The reason is, suppose they select 100 candidates after the aptitude test, after the final personal interview, they reject only 20 or 25 candidates. It means if you clear the aptitude test, you are perfect in the aptitude test, your chances of getting selected in the after the final interview are bright. Probability is high. Now let us see what are the different sections of aptitude test. First section is numerical ability and quantitative aptitude test. This is compulsorily is there in all campus recruitment process. Second is verbal ability test, that is general English test. Some companies do not conduct this verbal ability test. And the third one is logical reasoning test. This does not mean that companies are conducting three different types of aptitude tests, but in the same paper, these three sections will be there. And it is not necessarily marked different. The questions can be intermixed. Now let us see what is this numerical ability and quantitative aptitude test. That is the first one. In this section, candidate is asked multiple choice questions, MCQ, from most of the topics covered in high school along with some advanced topics. This is the test of algebra and data interpretation. The various topics of algebra are number system, averages, ratio and proportion, percentage, time and distance, time and work, problem on ages, decimal fractions, 
square root and cube root, mixture and allegation, permutation and combination, probability, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, area, volume, simple trigonometry, calendar, clock, LCM, HCF, search and indices, logarithms, etc. All these topics are covered in high school level. In the section of data interpretation, data is presented in the form of a table or chart. It can be in the tab tabular form or it can be in the form of chart. Chart can be a bar graph, line graph or pie chart. Candidate has to answer the questions by interpreting the data or chart. Next section is verbal ability that is the general English test. This section tests candidates reading ability and level of grammar. How is your English language, it's your grammar in the English that is tested in verbal ability test. Few companies do not conduct or do not keep this section in their aptitude test. The type of questions that may be asked in verbal ability section include spotting errors, spelling, sentence correction and formation, ordering of words and sentences, change of voice and speech, verbal analogies, synonyms and antonyms, paragraph formation, reading comprehension, idioms and phrases, letter writing, essay writing, etc. The third section is logical reasoning test. The purpose of this section is to test the candidate's logical and analytical ability as well as comprehension. This assesses the ability to come to conclusion based on logic. It is further divided as verbal and non-verbal reasoning test. So first is verbal reasoning test. Now let us see the purpose. A verbal reasoning test is used to assess candidates' ability to understand and comprehend written passages. Here it is verbal reasoning. So, the paragraph or question is given in terms of words and sentence. They are designed to measure verbal comprehension, reasoning and logic through understanding of language and general rule that leads to a specific conclusion. These tests evaluate and measure candidates' ability to make logical arguments and draw sound conclusions based on provided data and information. It also checks while reading a statement whether candidate jumps to conclusions or misinterpret information. This is very very essential part in the company. The candidates should not jump to the conclusion without giving due importance to all the information and at the same time they should not misinterpret the information. To check this ability, the verbal reasoning test is conducted. General topics are number series, verbal classification, analogies, matching definitions, verbal reasoning, logical games, statement and assumptions, statement and conclusion, cause and effect, logical deduction, letter and symbol series, essential part, artificial language, making judgments, logical problems, analyzing arguments, course of action, theme detection, statement and argument, etc. Second part of the logical reasoning test is non-verbal reasoning test. Non-verbal means either diagrams or figures are there. Non-verbal reasoning test is conducted to test the logical problem solving ability of the candidates that is to see whether they think logically and methodically through a series of figures. Therefore, the name is non-verbal. In this test, candidates are given a series of diagrams with an evident pattern. Candidates need to identify the pattern in the sequence of diagrams and select the next diagram in the sequence. General topics are series, classification, mirror images, embedded images, figure matrix, paper cutting, grouping of images, shape construction, cubes and dice, 
analogy, analytical reasoning, water images, pattern completion, paper folding, rule detection, dot situation, image analysis, etc. So, in this lecture, I had explained what is the aptitude test, what are the different sections of aptitude test, and what are the purpose of conducting all these types of aptitude test. Again, I will repeat that you need lot of practice to get good score in the aptitude test. If you clear the aptitude test, then the probability of you getting selected after the personal interview is more because more weightage is given to the aptitude test as compared to the interview and group discussion. So I hope from today itself you will start practicing for the aptitude test. You can see the different websites which give the aptitude which conduct the aptitude test as well as they are having lot of questions and examples on all different types of aptitude test thank you